let's just sew whatever. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these super cute um, coffee sleeves. I didn't use a pattern to make them. I just used an existing Starbucks um, cardboard sleeve and traced a pattern from that. So hopefully you guys can figure it out um, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so cutting this out is actually pretty simple. You just need one layer of exterior and one layer of fleece. That's what I use. You could also do two layers of exterior and then use fleece interfacing, but that just takes more time and it costs more. So um, this pattern I actually made from an existing coffee cozy sleeve that Starbucks has, like those cardboard ones, and you just add your seam allowances and trace it out of cardboard. So I'm just lining it up onto the fold. And cutting out the exterior. Um, you can also embroider onto these. I think I'm going to embroider at least one. So I'm going to add a little bit of interfacing to it for stability. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut out a whole bunch of these. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the fleece. I have a bunch of fleece that's always on sale at different fabric stores. So I just buy like 24 inches or um, two-thirds of a yard or something. So what you do is lay it right sides together. And then instead of wasting time cutting out the exact size I need, it's easier to just cut it out as a rectangle. that is a similar size and then just clip it together. And then once we sew it all together, we can cut it a little bit closer to the size we need. So I'm gonna cut out more of those. Um, so one of my fabrics is really thin, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use up some interfacing scraps or Franken-fuse as we like to call it, some interfacing just to help stabilize it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna press this with my heat press. Okay, so I've got the interfacing pressed and then I can just go ahead and cut off the excess. Okay, so putting these together is really, really easy. What you're gonna do is select um, like a four or a three stitch length and go across the top and the bottom. And I just follow the edge of the foot. Make sure you secure your stitches. to trim off all the excess. You don't need to trim down your seam allowance or anything because it creates a nice um, top stitching. So all I'm gonna do is kind of pull it through on my hand comes out nice and quickly and then you can press it with your iron if you want to or you can use clips and just kind of roll the seam in between your fingers I'll just go ahead and use clips because my iron isn't turned on and I'm lazy And then you can up your stitch length a little bit if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it the same and follow the edge of the foot. Make sure you're securing your stitches. Okay. So then the top and bottom is top stitch. You're just going to fold the edges together. Make sure you grab all of your loose threads. Line that up and use about a half inch seam allowance. So I'm just going to follow this little mark here on my machine. It might even be like five eighths. I'm going to switch to a smaller stitch length. I'm going to back stitch. And back stitch. And then I'm going to create another line of stitching. tiniest 
bit there. Make sure you trim all your excess thread and trim off your excess fabric. And then you can flip it through. And you've got a little coffee sleeve. Um, when I sold these, I sold them for, I think, maybe like eight bucks. Um, but you could also do like a set of them for $10, like two, something like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. I thought the blue would look really pretty on this one and this one's gonna say shine or maybe I'll just put Sarah I'm not sure So I'm holding on to my thread. with it but that's okay I know my sister's gonna love that come on there we go shine doesn't look amazing but it's cute who cares, right? Feels really cool, too. Okay, where did I put the other one? Oh. So this next one I'm going to do, <laughs> really excited for, it's going to say push it. So again, I'm going to write it out first because that definitely helped keep me on track. This is the ultimate marking pencil that irons off. This was in the Swoon subscription. I'm 
Okay, and it kind of has like a waxy look to it, so yeah, this will work. How did I start? The top of the P? Yeah. up and create a gap in the font. There we go. I'm going to dot my eye. Cross my team, dot my eye. 